E aí galera, tudo certo? Bom, pra quem não me conhece, meu nome é Michele E eu sou aqui do Polos Opostos No vídeo de hoje eu vou mostrar pra vocês um café da manhã com almoço americano Se liga aí no vídeo E aí, tudo bem? Bom, no vídeo de hoje eu estou de volta com a minha amiga gringa Que está aqui Hi! <risos> E a gente vai comer aqui um almoço, meio café da manhã, que eles chamam de branch. It's branch, right? Branch? Branch? What's branch. What is the name? What's a branch? <laughs> café da... Uh, breakfast. Long bre late breakfast. Não, brunch. Brunch. Not branch. It's brunch. <laughs> Bom, você viu, né? Que eu moro aqui e meu inglês ainda é uma catástrofe. Mas a gente vai mostrar pra vocês uns pratos que tem aqui muito legais. A gente vai almoçar juntas, então eu resolvi mostrar. A gente tá aqui nesse café, ó, que chama Green Egg Café. E a gente já pediu os pratos. Assim que chegar, eu vou mostrar pra vocês. E a Samantha vai explicar pra vocês é, sobre os pratos, tá bom? Yeah. Chega! Hi, everybody! It's me, Samantha, Michelle's American friend. We are out for brunch. And I am drinking this iced coffee. And... This is what it looks like. So a little bit fancy. That's a giant Oreo cookie on top of it. Iced coffees are really popular in America, particularly when it's summertime or springtime like it is now in Philadelphia, because it's a way to get that caffeine and it tastes really good and it looks really pretty and really special and really fun and it's closer probably to a milkshake and a dessert than it is a coffee. So, not diet food, that's for sure. Um, but this not is, really not diet, which I say, really fat. So this is it, and uh, I'm gonna try it. Wow. And it's gonna be delicious. All right, I'm gonna sip right. it. Good. Delicious, good and strong. I should probably drink it with a straw, but <laughs> it's tasty. Oreo, latte, iced coffee, a lot of good caffeine. Olha essa comida, gente. Fala sério, batata frita com costela, eu acho, ou carne, sei lá, queijo e mac and cheese. Aqui. Isso aqui é uma sobremesa. Esse pãozinho é super famoso aqui. What is the name of this? Biscuit. Biscuit. But ela vai explicar pra vocês. She's going to explain. E aqui é só uma salada de fruta. What is that? Hash browns with cheese. Hash brown with cheese. I don't know. She's going to explain to us. All right. But we are out to brunch. Brunch is a mix between breakfast and lunch. Usually kind of midday, so not early when you get up and not maybe 12 o'clock, one o'clock lunchtime. So they've come up with the word brunch between breakfast and lunch. There's also the word liner, which is between lunch and dinner, if you eat in between the lunchtime and the dinner time. So brunch and liner, we're having brunch today, a mix of sweet foods and savory foods. We're outside, we're in this little kind of tented area because of COVID. Um, so we're kind of covered in our own little pod. Um, but I'm gonna talk a little bit about some brunch foods. All right, we are having yummy. a lot of yummy food. So the first thing that we're having is right in front of me, we're sharing, but this is French toast and it looks pretty beautiful and it is stuffed with cookie dough. So cookie dough that you use to bake in the oven to make cookies is actually inside here, as you can see, and stuffed and it oozes out. And this is a creme and glaze. There's also a maple syrup. There's a little scoop of uh, cream, fresh cream on top, powdered sugar and little chocolate chips. So this is not a food that you want to eat when it's almost bathing suit time, like it is in the US. Over this is called the cure. 
meaning the cure for when you are hungover and you've drank too much and the next day you want to come and be less drunk, which is not you today, Michelle, is it? No. No, she's not drunk. No. I'm Michelle is over not here not with the fruit, which is healthy look, food. Look my plate. All this food is for Samantha. This is for me. It is not for me. That's to make us feel better. <laughs> So this is macaroni and cheese. I'm gonna take the spoon and pick at it so you can see. It's macaroni and cheese with French fries on top with beef, short rib on top of that with melted cheese and chives. So this is not very good for your heart and it is not very good for your waistline for when you want to wear your bathing suit. Then this is a biscuit. A lot of times people have it with a brown gravy on top of it. We're just having it today with some butter and some jam. Everything's in plastic because of COVID and trying to be safe. And then this is a hash brown. So this is a potato pancake with cheese. It's a hash brown with cheese. I can open it. See, it's a potato potato pancake with cheese inside, kind of shredded potato and fried. So we are not having a healthy brunch today, but we are having an exciting brunch today. Oh, and the other thing that I wanted to show is this glass of water, because Michelle said something very interesting the other day, which was about water with ice, and I wanna tell you. So Michelle was asking me about water with ice, and water without ice. So she was talking about the words on the rocks, which is a phrase or slang in the US to say, she thought if you wanna drink over ice, but it actually only applies to an alcoholic drink, like a spirit, like whiskey, like whiskey on the rocks, if you were out at a bar. If you just want water with ice, this doesn't have ice, but you would say just water with ice. But um, it's, a, it's a term that you use when you're out at a bar. The other thing, you could order something neat, which is to say that you don't want it chilled or you don't want any ice or any mixer inside. So you might order a whiskey neat, which is just whiskey, usually two ounces in a, in a glass, in an old fashioned glass. You might also be able to order something straight up or up, like maybe a martini up, that means chilled. Um, not ice, but um, chilled. And then if you want a martini dirty or extra dirty, it means that you want uh, olives or extra olives or olive juice in it. So I thought that was interesting. They were some bar terms that Michelle uh, wanted me to go over with you. But um, yeah, so if you are uh, hungover from eating or drinking your things up or chilled or on the rocks, then you come and you get your hangover cure and all that fried, fatty, greasy food um, absorbs the alcohol in your stomach. But we're not drunk today. So. Okay. <laughs> not just, drunk so, today. Just having fun. Just having fun. Yeah, just having fun. Hey, Samantha, what is about this place? I'm like eating. Is that good? It's delicious. Look what how good that? this looks. Mm. It's delicious. It's really fattening. <laughs> I feel like I really need to eat a lot of fruit to make up for it. Maybe tomorrow, right? The fruits. I feel like tomorrow, the next day, the day after that, just drink juice. Just juice. drink fruit. No, <laughs> no solid other food. food. Yeah. Because this is a lot. This is lunch, dinner, tomorrow's dinner. <laughs> so it's delicious, right? Delicious. All right. So good. Shelly, what do you think about it? Think Michelle. Olha essa comida. I'm doing a great time. Olha essa comida. Mac and cheese, que é um macarrão com queijo, super tradicional aqui. Qualquer dia eu vou fazer lá em casa para vocês verem. Batata frita tá meio morta porque tá no meio da meleca toda. E tem uma carne aqui, ó, que desfia. Deixa eu mostrar. Ó, parece uma carne louca igual a nossa, assim, bem molinha. Tá bem gostoso. É feio. Mas é bem gostoso. Agora eu vou comer, falou? Daqui a pouco eu vou mostrar o prato dela. Tchau, tchau. Ah, you there. <risos> yes, I'm... Agora eu já tô cheia de tanto comer. E isso aqui é o que ela mostrou, né? Que é o... What is the name of this? French toast. French toast. Stuffed with cookie dough. Stuffed with cookie dough. With cream and glaze. With cream and glaze. Um, maple syrup. Maple syrup, yeah. Chocolate sauce and chocolate chip cookies. <laughs> chocolate so chip calories. chips. 
Isso aqui chama muitas calorias. So many, the name is like many calories. <risos> <risos> o nome disso aqui é French Toast, é tipo um pão, é tipo uma rabanada que a gente faz aí no Brasil. Só que tem um monte de coisa em cima. Tem tipo um creme aqui que eu nem comi ainda, não sei o que. A gente dividiu, então eu não comi ainda. Tem chocolate e tudo. Deixa eu ver se é bom. Hum. Sugar! <risos> Sugar! I brought my baby with me to brunch and she's talking to him. He's laughing. Ele tá rindo porque é muito açúcar, mas é bem gostoso. Mm. É muito bom. It's very good. It's approved. It's like eating dessert. Mm. Really eating dessert. Yeah. For your meal. All. Yeah. Vou comer tudo aqui. I'm gonna eat all of this. Wait, give it a rating. No, a uh, rating. Um, compare with the savory or not? Just uh, yeah. for the dessert. Do each separate. Yeah, all right. So I'm gonna do in Portuguese and I will tell you later. Okay. okay. Essa aqui é a parte salgada e eu gosto muito mais de sal. Então, pra esse aqui eu dou nota 5, number 5. 5 stars. 5 out of 5? Yeah, because it's so yummy. Yeah. And for this, pra esse aqui, eu dou number 5 too. Because it's another thing. It's like a dessert. É muito bom também. Eu dou nota 5 pros dois porque eu amo chocolate. E esse syrup que tem aqui, essa meleca, é bem gostoso. É tipo um mel, só que mais gostoso, que eles colocam no, na panqueca. Então, for today, will be five and five. I cannot give less than this. It's so good. So Thank good. Thank you for bringing me here. Of course. You're the best. Shelly, what do you think of American brunch? I cannot talk. You're too full. Too full. Eu tô muito feliz, uma delícia, adorei. É bem pesada a comida, mas é muito boa. Really, really, really nice. And what else? But do you know what's the best part of American brunch? What? It's not all this delicious food. No. It's spending time with a good friend. Aww. You're a good friend. Thank That's you for being my friend. That's the best part of American brunch. Look. Uh, Thanks for bringing me here. You're welcome. You're the best. Ok, a gente vai se ver então daqui a pouco de novo, em algumas semanas, para fazer a batalha dos doces. So we're gonna see each other again to do the battle of cans, right? American battle cans. of candy, next. Alright. Bye bye. Tchau, tchau. Subscribe. Please, se inscreve aqui no canal e deixa seu like, tá bom? Bye bye.